In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a cheap SDR device. What for? Well, you can use it as a communications receiver for analog and digital voice. And the cost will be around £10 or 16 US dollars. The things you will need are an RTL SDR, and there are some links to where you can buy that in the description. A computer, which should be at least 3 GHz dual core on the processor and SDR Sharp, a free piece of software which I'm going to be showing you how to use. Okay, so here I am on the sdrsharp.com website and this is where you will need to download SDR Sharp from. So go ahead and download it and extract the file. And then go into the folder and double click this file here, install, and it will install everything for you. So there we go, it's downloaded everything you need and it's copied it into this SDR Sharp folder for you. So now we go ahead and open this folder up. Now what you need to do from here is you'll need to open up Zadig. And Zadig is a program that's used to install the driver for your RTL SDR. So once you insert it for the first time, what you'll need to do is Windows will come up with some messages trying to install the driver. What you need to do is cancel those messages or cancel the driver install and then open up Zadig and find the device. I can get it to show mine here. It's the one that begins with RTL. Just make sure you don't install the driver on anything else. Um, and go and scroll down to the Win USB driver and click Install Driver. And then once that's finished, you might need to restart the computer. Um, but once you're back, you can start the program SDR Sharp. Here we are. So from here, what you'll need to do to get it to work is you need to go to RTL SDR USB and then just click play and it works straight away. However, you'll probably need to mess with the settings a bit. Offset tuning, you should probably turn that on. RTL AGC, you should turn that on as well and the RF gain you can set it manually if you're in a high noise environment or you can just set it to automatic and your frequency correction you'll also have to set manually just by using trial and error uh, but I've set mine to 50 because I know that my device is at 50 okay so I've now closed the configuration panel and tuned to a frequency that I know is quite active at the moment and I'm just going to play you a quick sample to show you that it's working. Okay, so there you go. It does work. And that's almost the end of the video, but don't go yet. Um, I've got something to say still. If you're interested in decoding digital voice, make sure you watch my next video in which I'll be showing you how to use this exact same setup to decode digital voice. And if you liked this video, please let me know by clicking the like button and I hope you'll consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.